Hey guys, it's Rosie. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you my daily routine at the barn. So I'm going to be going to ride Tucker, the horse I'm leasing. I'll just generally show you my like grooming routine, um, kind of just everything that I do when I'm there. So I'm going to get dressed in my riding clothes and then we'll be on our way. So here's what I'm wearing to the barn. I'm just wearing this like zip up sweatshirt thing. It's really light because it's 60 degrees out so it's super nice. Um, I'm also wearing this just general athletic shirt and then these performance Islington breeches. Um, they're kind of small for me but I really like them so I haven't gotten rid of them yet. But yeah, let's go to the barn. The first thing that I do when I get to the barn is go get Tucker from the field. Then I bring him in and I usually put him into a stall, but today there was a big pile of hay in the aisle in front of his stall, so I put him straight onto the cross ties. I then used a curry comb, and Tucker was really dirty today with dried mud because the paddocks were super muddy from the storm we had yesterday. The stiff brush got off most of the dirt, but I make sure to brush where the saddle goes multiple times to ensure that there is not any dirt that may rub under the saddle and make it uncomfortable for Tucker. Then I pick out his feet and brush his face with a face brush and move on to tacking up. Put on a saddle pad, then a riser pad, then the saddle, and then the girth. After that is done loosely, I put on his bridle and head up to the arena. When I get to the arena, I grab a crop, then I tighten his girth and adjust my stirrups. I make sure to tighten the girth one hole up at a time to give him time to adjust to it. Then I go over to the mounting block and get on. I let Tucker walk for a few laps and stretch out, then I ask him to trot so we can warm up. The drums were set up differently today, so I had to be creative with how we circled. We did lots of circles on each end and in the middle, and also did plenty of figure eights through the center. This jump configuration was difficult to maneuver, so we didn't get any serpentines done today like we normally do. After we were warmed up, we cantered on each side, then worked on doing flying lead changes and just getting used to going around the different jump configuration by doing some turns that we couldn't do with the last jump arrangement. Tucker was really good with cantering today, and he didn't spook at the loud hay being thrown in the hayloft, which was really nice. Yesterday in our lesson, it was pouring rain and the wind was howling so loudly that I could barely hear my trainer from 20 feet away. Tucker never spooked and was super chill even when we jumped, so that was super awesome.
If you want to hear more about what I do during flat work, watch my last video um, called Voice Over Flat Work with Tucker. When we're done, I get off and run up the stirrups before heading down to the lower bar. The first thing that I do when we get to the lower barn is take off Tucker's bridle and attach the cross ties to his halter. I then take off his saddle and move on to brushing him. I brush him after riding to help any sweat dry and take off any more dirt that he may have on him. I just use a curry comb and stiff brush, then I pick out his feet and brush his face. Once he's brushed, I make sure to let him cool before putting on his blanket and putting him back in his stall so he can eat his dinner. Then I put the tack away and leave. I just got back from riding and everything went really well today so I'm very pleased I think we've been making some really good progress um, Tucker is now giving me the canner whenever I ask for it so that's very nice I can also get lead switches anytime um, and he's just picking up more speed I think he's getting more in shape and I definitely am too so um, everything's been going really well so make sure to check out my other writing videos for some more. Um, my last one, I did a voiceover um, flat work, and then the one before was just a barn vlog um, for flat work. So make sure to check those out and go follow me on all my social media for more. And check out my Etsy shop. All of those are at Rosie Revolts. And check out my book at catoutdoorsbook.com. And I will see you guys later. Bye.